tried pushing her your way, and look what happened. This place is an experiment. This school opened in 1921. Yeah, all right, then. It's a big experiment with my daughter. Our daughter. Our daughter, who had a bit of a breakdown. Shh. So here you. She, knows she was ill, Rose. So she knows she failed to get into the school of your dreams. Oh, that's right. Blame me. It's not about blame. It's about doing what's best for Maddie. One term and we review. I'm looking at this as rehab. Try childhood. You're dumping me at boarding school. Two minutes from our house. I'm not dumping you. I'm paying. What with? Spanners? That's why I'm not getting out. You haven't got the money, have you? I'll get it. I'm working on a plan. It'll all be sorted when I pick you up at the end of term. End of term? Aren't you going to come and see me? The school don't like parents bugging kids during term time. Honestly, it's what they said. The kids are long-haired weirdos. Hello? I'm not going to fit in here, Dad. Why have I got to come to this school? Because I don't know what else to do with your son. Teacher. You want Maddie to turn out like her? I want Maddie to turn out like Maddie. I'm doing my best for you, Ryan. Don't go getting chucked out again. Third time lucky, eh? Teacher Maddie. Not him, her. Buddy, you can say your goodbyes now if you want. I'll look after her. No. Yes. Mum? This is for you, darling. Oh, no, one. Thank you. 
this long. Right, keep it switched on. I've got the charger in your case. There's some money. Hmm? It's for emergencies only. It's a list of things to do. Hug for mum. Now work hard, yeah? Keep on top of your lessons. And if you don't like it here, then you can come home. Bye-bye. It'll be fine, lads, OK? Don't worry about anything. Just have fun. OK? But, Dad... Love you. Too, okay. Mm -hmm. This is Matt. We call him Yoga Matt. <laughs> He's your house parent and responsible adult. The locker is for your valuables, and Matt can look after your key if you want. He's your house parent. Given up parents, and I don't need no body thanks. All the same, Ned. Everyone can climb that tree, just not the big beach because basically it's enormous. I brought in a rule about not climbing it when it's raining. What are you on about? The school rules. We make them, and sometimes we break them. Kids make up the rules. We meet in here twice a week, talk about stuff, propose new rules. Everybody votes, and if enough people agree, the rule is made law. So what? We had a school council at my last school. The SWATs yapped away, but still the teachers did everything their way. It's not like that here. The teachers are just part of the community, same as us. It's one person, one vote or something. Hey, hey, get out. No skateboards allowed indoors. It wrecks the floors for everyone else. Sorry. A kid made up that rule? Yeah. Carmen. She's got splinters. OK, then. I'm going to say I don't have to go to lessons. Someone already did. The man who started Summer Hill. He thought the kids should only go to lessons if they wanted to. So I don't have to go to lessons? You don't have to do anything you don't want to. That's the whole point of Summer Hill. Drama studio. Hi, I'm Heather. Come up, we're playing parrots. I'm being Tiger Lily. Climbing trees is dangerous. He says. Hi, Mum. Yes, I'm fine. Yes, the phone's working great. Ahoy there! Enemy sighted at three o'clock. Heather, we've played it already. Let's do Mama's on the Rock. No, it's the real enemy. Hope's coming on board. Peter! Lunch? Ah! Yeah, take the hook! Not him! Them! It's an invasion! There's hundreds of them! Office for Standards and Education. Ofsted. Please remember, you are not educational philosophers, but school inspectors. Even if Summerhill might not feel like a school, it is registered as one, and as such, has to meet certain minimum standards. The key to a successful inspection will be to remain absolutely focused on the big question. And that is? Are the children getting an adequate education? And if not, why not? Precisely, Myrtle. Precisely. 
So, you know the drill. Quantifiable attainments, value-added improvements, precise targets. Bullseye! That's so out of order. I'm going to bring you up for that, Peter. This isn't right, Len. I'm afraid it is. Ofsted wrote to say they were coming for a three-day inspection. No, I didn't mean that. They've been in virtually every year for the past nine years, but they've never sent in eight inspectors before. Len, I think this is a hit squad. Somebody somewhere's got bored with waiting for us to do things the government's way. What are you doing, Zoe? Not going quietly. Good job, fire committee. Roger Wharton. Sorry, Redhead, but call me Zoe. Everyone else does. Mrs. Redhead, we will need the attendance roll for lessons. We well, haven't got one. So the pupils are still allowed to choose whether or not they go to lesson. Oh, yes, absolutely. Children don't have to go to a single lesson the whole time they're at Summerhill. Does she mean that? You bet. All lessons remain optional. All lessons remain optional. We'd like to observe lessons as soon as possible. Sorry we haven't got any today, but you're welcome to observe sign-up. <laughs> up to you whether you actually turn up or not. But if and when you do come along, come along to learn and participate fully. It's not fair on the other guys if you come in here and mess about. If you want to do that, there's plenty of room out there. Now, Leonard's top tip for the new guys. Playing is the most important thing you will do here at Summer Hill. Make time for it. Right, I need your sheets back by this afternoon, please. And when I've drunk a couple of buckets of coffee and wrapped a wet towel around my head, I will write out your personal timetables. I'm only doing English and woodwork, of course. Of course, you're building your boat. Thank you, Peter. What about you, Ryan? It's Ryan. What about a bit of astronomy, Ryan? You know, stars at night, get to join up the dots? No. What about a language? Plenty of opportunity for conversation? No. We do a nice line of magic tricks, bike mechanics, cricket? No, no, and no. I don't want to sign up to any lessons. Why nice not? <laughs> Brian? Didn't you just say you weren't interested? No. Okay. Bye for now then. See you later. Sorry that took so long. I do hope I sound better in translation. Now, has anybody got any questions? Maddie. How much are we allowed to sign up for? Well, as much as you like, really. As many as you think you'll be happy with. Yeah, as many as you like. go to any lessons the first year I was here. Oh, I couldn't do that. I've got to keep on top of things. Hi, Mum. Oh, yes, I'm just signing up for lessons. All my subjects are here. They even do Japanese. Yes, OK, I will. English, maths, science, 
geography. Will he come back to lessons? Probably. Probably. I see. You have an approximate time scale for probably? A couple of weeks in most cases. Sometimes it's months before the boredom and curiosity factors set in. Could be years. Years? Children don't have years. Exactly why A.S. Neil thought childhood was so precious. Excuse me. The late Mr. Neil's philosophies are all very interesting, I'm sure. But what about the day-to-day -day practicalities? What strategies have you put in place to support children like him? We don't use strategies as such. I do hope you'll experience some of the summer hell magic while you're here. I'm sorry, but I can't see magic here on my tick list. <laughs> mm. No. I cried a lot when I first came here. You'll get into it. It's brilliant fun. I don't think so. Does she ever let you alone? This will cheer you up. What will? Lights out in half an hour. Yes, Stella. Do you want to go downtown for fishing chips tomorrow? I'm broke. Lights out soon. Anyone for kisses and cuddles? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've got sweets. Yeah, and I've got some crisps. What's it all for? Me and Peter, planning to sneak out a midnight feast. Shh, don't let them in. Why? They're Betty's officers. They make sure we go to bed. <laughs> hey, I know, we could all hide under my invisibility cloak. I don't want to get into trouble. We won't. Only if we get caught. I'm not coming. Suit yourself. Where'd you get this from? My mum. She's a lawyer. Mine works abroad. What do you reckon's this place, then? Some of the kids are a bit weird. <laughs> Check Peter, right? Invisibility clue. How old is he? Six. And there's a five or. Uh, I've only got a £20 note, and it's for emergencies only. Like what? <laughs> Don't worry.
Daddy. How was your first night? Come on. Still up for time. I thought you were skin. Yeah, well, forgot I had this. Welcome to a school meeting. Meeting come to order. Everyone, sit down and shut up. Shh. We're here to inspect the school. Quiet, please. Um, I want to bring up Peter for throwing a water. Hang on. There's an agenda. You'll have to wait. I want to bring up Heather and Peter for sneaking out last night and waking me up. Sorry, Stars is next. OK, um, I'm going to speak for Maddie as ombudsman. She saw Ryan taking £20 from her cupboard. You liar! Shh! Don't cross talk. Ryan, just tell us your side of the story. I didn't take nothing. You did. Peter. Ryan was skint last night. Today he was flashing a 20. Just check his pockets. He stuffed it in there. Look, only do it if you want to. I haven't got a money. Maddie says Ryan asked to borrow money last night and she told him her mum had given her £20. Why are you hiding behind her? Order! How do we know that Ryan took Maddie's money? Eh? I saw him coming out of our room last night. Ryan, it looks pretty obvious who did it. I found it outside. Oh. I found it outside. Yeah? Kind of improbable that you find £20 lying around really randomly. I believe in you, girl. Sam, stop cross-talking. If you want to say something, put your hand up. Yeah? You shouldn't go in and tell us to take things. New kids always go a bit wild. I did. OK, then be fine. Shut up! I propose Ryan gets a strong warning. Stella? What about Maddie? She's lost 20 pounds. That's a lot. I propose that Ryan has found 20 pounds. Yeah? It could be taken out of his pork. Pocket money? Um, how about we say two pounds a week? OK. Any more hands? No? OK, I'm going to take the proposals. So there is two proposals against each other. All those in favour of a strong warning for Ryan. So all those in favour of Ryan being fined £20 and the money goes to Maddie. All against all. Ryan is being carried that you're fined £2 a week for the next 10 weeks. Next. <laughs> Hang on, you can't live without the permission of the chair! Don't be fine for Ryan. I'm worried about that boy. We really must see some lessons, Myrtle. You are supposed to ask permission before leaving the meeting. Really, the impertinence. Okay, meeting closed. Hey, Mighty. Will you sign up sheet? Sure about these, Maddie. But you want to do any of the fun activities? That's old man Neil. He believed passionately that children have rights, that you're not owned by your teachers or your parents. This is what I want to do. Freedom's a big thing to deal with, Maddie. You're not used to having it. I do. You crashed me off. Well, you, you stole the money.
Peter, are you okay? Oh my gosh, are you okay? Maddie? Maddie? 